Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Guys, we are a few minutes away before Arrow Season 5, Episode 3, entitled A Matter of Trust is in Upon Us. Yes, I have a green Arrow beanie, as you can see. It is kind of tight on my head, unfortunately. I wish it was bigger. I ordered it on Amazon, thinking that it was going to be bigger. It's not. It's kind of tight, so I hope you guys are okay with it. I'm trying to stretch it out as much as I can <laughs> to make it look kind of normal on my head. But it is tight. But I hope you guys like it. So anyways, let's get into now. I'm excited to see what they do in this episode. Seeing the team finally uh, team up, if you will. So let's get into it. Hey, John. Oh my god! Oh my god. What? 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 Here we go. Decent. Better than season four when she was there fighting. Now. Damn. Oh my god. Oh. Well, there he goes. Turning into a kind of a meta thing, right? Oh, that's vigilante! Right? Here we go. He said it! Yes! I haven't heard him say it in a while. That was kind of gross. Here we go. Damn. Oh my god. Come on. There you go. Surprised he didn't go after him. Wow. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Round two. Something's wrong with me, babe. Let me help you. We will figure this out. Together. When I thought Lawton killed Andy, all I wanted to do was bring his murderer to justice. I still do. Floyd Lawton was an assassin for hire. You were a good man. And you're alive. Floyd Lawton is long dead. No, oh, my life is nice. Whoa. Always, oh, always oh, a figment of his imagination. Okay. Stop fighting for me, Lila. Yeah. Damn. There you go. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Yes, let's do it. In position. Why are you smiling? They're vague. Because of that. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Round two, baby. <laughs> nice. Slow motion explosion walk away. Yeah. Will include former police captain Quentin Lance, who will be serving beside me as deputy mayor. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Mr. Mayor. You're the right man for the job, trust me. You played me. <laughs> you only get to do that once. 
the next time you try to cross me like that, you'll be lucky if you even have a block. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Can I talk to you? Everything okay? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. There's something that I need you to know about Haven Rock. Haven Rock was not the intended target. Monument Point was. Someone redirected the missile to reduce the number of casualties. That someone was me. I am so sorry. Oh, man. Oliver. Lila? We need to talk about John. Is he all right? No. He's back in the country and he's in prison. And I need you to break him out. Hell yeah. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Fuck yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Arrow Season 5, Episode 3, A Matter of Trust. This episode surprised me. They, they did a bunch of stuff in this episode. They really covered a lot of things in this episode. They covered that Wild Dog and Artemis went out without Oliver's permission, and then Wild Dog kills uh, Cody Rhodes, a.k.a. the Stardust Dealer. He comes back as a superhuman. They didn't call him a metahuman, the superhuman, because technically it's a superhuman. He's not really a meta. Um... And then in the same episode, we flip it to now the whole team and Oliver go out and fight the Stardust dealer Cody Rhodes and the people that are basically helping him steal the formula in order to make them superhuman. So we have a whole city of superhumans. So I really like the fact that they just got right to the point, got right to it. And on top of that, they introduce Adrian Chase, a.k.a. Vigilante, the actual character named Vigilante. And they also introduce that reporter. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I just saw the episode, can't remember her name. But she is, she's married to the younger brother of Hal Jordan. I believe that's the connection. But I remember when they announced this, it was a Green Lantern connection in a way. Because she's married to a brother of the Green Lantern. So that's pretty awesome. That They, they, they did a lot in this episode. And then on top of that... Felicity admits to Ragman, I was the reason why Haven Rock was destroyed. All my fault. I didn't think they would do this for a couple more episodes because we all knew it was coming. It was obvious. He, he's put on the team. He's in Star City. We all thought he would make the connection. We didn't think that she would tell him. We, we didn't think that, that he would find out and then he would expose her. But maybe... This is smarter for them to write it this way to where she just admits it because if he found out at a later date, the longer he's on the team without knowing, then the worse it's going to get. Is he still on the team? I'm, I'm assuming he's still on the team at this point because, I mean, he didn't say anything. I'm assuming in the next episode he'll, you know, accept it or whatever. Maybe they'll wait till the second episode after this one. I don't know. But um, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Great fighting choreography. Seeing Oliver Queen... Um, the Green Arrow and the Stardust dealer, Cody Rhodes, go toe-to-toe -to -toe again, uh, round two, if you will. And uh, overall, seeing the team work together and just seeing a lot of the things they did in this episode. They did a lot of things in this episode. Really makes me happy. I'm glad. Technically, yes, the, is the show back? I feel like the show is back to what it, to what it needed to, what it needed to be in season four, especially. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see what they do next. That's my reaction, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.